Peer pressure can be really tough for young people to deal with. You know, it often happens when the parents aren't around as well. So in today's Relationship Reboot, we're finding out about a way to give the kids an out by developing a safe word. So joining us now is relationship guru, Dr. Kirsten Lynn Seal. Kirsten, thanks for coming in. All right, safe word. Yeah. So um, I like to think of it as sort of a password. Okay. Too, okay. Right? So that you, it's a password for your teen letting you know when they're in a situation that feels scary to them and they would like an out that you can provide. Is this something like if you're out with your friends and you want to text your parents? Exactly. Okay. So maybe give us an example. Exactly. So, so say, um, you know, your teenage daughter is mm -hmm. um, out at a party and, you know, you've been really clear that, you know, you don't want any alcohol there and there, and then somebody shows up with, you know, a kegger, then um, then your teen could text you and say, so say if your word was, I don't know, Aunt Mary or German chocolate cake, they could just text and say, and even if someone were looking over their shoulder. Which often happens. Which yeah. often happens. They could be like, oh, mom, did you get the German chocolate cake you promised? Mm. You know, right? And so, and then, and then the, you can text back, um, you know what, honey, there's an emergency. I have to come pick you up right away. Parents, I think, often want to ask a lot of questions, yes. right? Because yes. you want to be helpful, you want to know what's going yeah, on. Exactly. But you have advice on that, right? So, so here's the thing. So if that, so say that happens, right? Your, your teen. Like say it's a teen you. around drugs. Uh, well, and around drugs, exactly. So they may feel um, kind of nervous about actually having that conversation with you. The deal with this this password safe word piece is that you have to let them tell you. You can't you can't um, interrogate them mm -hmm. because what'll happen is then the whole the whole edifice falls apart, right? Mm -hmm. There has to be trust with teens that they know that you're not going to sort of push them into a place they don't want to go. I mean, parents do want to know, and yet at the same time, if you're going to have this setup with yeah. your teen that, mm -hmm. that here is a way for them to have an out, and then you interrogate them, they're never going to use the, the password again. Yeah. I think that this is such a great way to help a kid get out of a situation, but you're right, right. it has to have that trust that exactly. goes along with exactly. it. Uh, any tips on picking a word? I liked your German chocolate cake example. Did you like, yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's something that's unsuspecting, but easy, but well, maybe right, not something that comes right. up in conversation all the Well, time. exactly, and the thing is, you want something that's gonna be, like, like uh, th there are some words that the, your friends looking over your shoulder might, might be like, why are you asking about, you know, right. I, I mm -hmm. don't know, the Polish Revolution, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so, well, one of the things, I actually had a password with my son when he was small about, an, uh, up till through teen years, although teen years it was less uh, important, about picking him up from school. Yep, so, we did that with Right, that, yeah. yeah, and the password was. If you had another was, adult pick him up, they would have to know the password. They would have to know the password, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's actually a really good for like disaster preparedness. Do you know, should something happen like a tornado or, I mean, you don't know. Um, and so if, like having a meeting place, that's another yeah. thing, like the neighborhood coffee shop. But, sure. So, so ours was a, it was the, the name of one of his favorite stuffed animals when he was very small. Huh. So that's a very much of a family thing oh, people okay. wouldn't know. A little right? bit of an insight. I will yeah. say, like, I had this situation as a high school freshman. Uh, mm -hmm. So I was involved in theater in high school, and so I was at a, a house with seniors, with older kids. Right. And, you know, you look back now and you're like, it was ridiculous. But mm -hmm. they uh, started drinking. They started mm -hmm. drinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I called my parents and asked them to come and pick me up, which today, of course, everyone laughs. They're like, yeah, oh, but call good for but you. But I called my parents. And, and I will say, like, if I had a safe, like, I kind of snuck into another, this was pre-cell phone, yeah. right? So you had right, to go use right, the, right. but if you have that safe word, it does give you that out and maybe mm -hmm. gives a kid just a little more comfort exactly. in asking for help. Exactly. I like this a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Really so good. it's a great setup to sort of to help teens keep themselves safe, mm -hmm. you know, good. and for them to be able to trust that their parents good will idea. do the right thing. Very yeah. good. Kirsten, thank you. Yeah.